Hi, I'm Christina Swain with the Swain team of Keller Williams, here today with your July monthly market update. Right now, inventory is drastically low. It's the seller's market. Homes are coming on the market and selling above asking with multiple offers. So if you're thinking about selling, act now to net the most. We don't know how much longer this type of market's going to last. Let's face it. We don't know what the long-term effects are going to be on the economy from the virus. Unemployment has gone up and businesses have been closing. So sell now if you want to net the most. With that being said, let's compare numbers from April, May, and June of 2019 to April, May, and June of 2020. So you can see what I'm talking about and see the difference. In Bucks County, we saw a drastic drop in pendings in April and May. In June, as things opened up, we saw the number of pendings jump up compared to 2019. In Montgomery County, we saw that same drastic drop in pendings in April and May. In June, again, as things opened up, we saw that number of pendings shoot up in June as compared to 2019. In Philadelphia, again, we are seeing the same thing, the drastic drop in pendings in April and May of 2020 compared to 2019. And then in June, as things opened up, the number of pendings jumped up. Over in New Jersey, in Mercer County, we saw a slight drop in the pendings in April and May. In June, we saw the number of pendings rise up slightly compared to June of 2019. In Burlington County, again, we saw a slight drop in pendings in April and May. And then in June, last month, we saw the number of pendings rise up slightly. Over in Camden County, we saw that same slight drop in pendings in April and May. And then in June, again, the number of pendings rose up slightly compared to June of 2019. New Jersey's numbers did not fluctuate the same way Pennsylvania's did. And that's because they were still, realtors were still considered essential. You were still able to sell a house in New Jersey, unlike PA. Pennsylvania was the only state that did not allow, did not say that real estate was essential. So since demand is so high and inventory is so low, we have amped up our publicity in our Coming Soon campaign. So we have two homes hitting the market next week, the week of July 6th. And, we're gonna, and they're taking full advantage of our Coming Soon campaign. We're gonna kick off all the showings with a sneak peek virtual tour on Facebook Live. So join us. The first one's gonna be on July 6th at 9.30. It's a unique opportunity at $250,000 in Pensbury School District with low taxes. On July 8th, July 8th, we're gonna do one in Neshaminy School District that also is a gorgeous colonial. So join us July 8th at 10.30 for that one on Facebook Live. My job as an expert realtor is to do everything in my power to drive up demand for the seller. High demand equals the highest sales price and the seller can control the negotiations. If you're thinking about selling, contact me. I offer a free 30 minute, no obligation consultation where I walk through the home and give you tips and tricks on what to do to get the home prepared for the market so you can net the most. Many of my tips and tricks are found in the new book I just wrote, How to Net the Most When You Sell, which is going to be released in the next couple months and available on Amazon. I'm also excited to share with you that I will be on the cover and the featured story in Bucks County Real Estate, excuse me, Bucks County Real Producers, a local realtor magazine for the top 300 realtors. And I'm going to be on the cover in September. Until next time.
I'm Christina Swain with the Swain team of Keller Williams.